Hey everybody, Camo King back again with another video. I'm going to show you all my knife etcher today. It's a little project I just finished up this morning. Um, basically, it used to be a battery charger, a really old one that I found in a garage. Uh, I've dismounted it in this box and keep it all nice and uh, compact so I'm not you know having everything everywhere all the time so uh, let's get into looking at this uh, basically what I did was I took the guts from the uh, battery charger uh, and mount them in this box it had no on and off switch so uh, I mounted the uh, switch there so that I could uh, turn it on and off and not be dangerous all the time no one likes getting shocked it's got the uh, the uh, amp meter there the uh, switch to go from 6 to 12 volts it uh, puts out 10 amps this top compartment opens and I keep uh, some cotton swabs uh, toothpicks, a rubber band the bolt is actually my electrode and the knife I'll open this up now so you can see inside. Uh, I had this cut out here. See if I can get you a better view. Little bit. Now let's go ahead and take this lid off. Get that out of the way. Then we can get a better view of this here. I cut a notch there in the top. And as you can see, I've got the cord coming out of the side. That way, when I want to close this up, I don't have a cord sticking out. Uh, this is, cord was really old. It was like the original cord on there and it was frayed. I put this heavy-duty uh, grounded plug on it. And once again, just trying to stay safe. Uh, you can see in there, there's the transformer. And here's the, uh, the back side of the switch. And right here are my leads. The alligator clips. And there's another notch right here so that when it's running I can have the lid down and uh, you know stay safe and away from all the electronics in there uh, I've done a, a few things with it etched a few things with it they come out pretty good and uh, I'll probably be doing a, a tutorial on uh, how to etch knives here uh, pretty soon so uh, be on the lookout for that guys until then uh, we'll see you later and have a good one